No, she's... Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck. Aim up. Yes! Protect Bobby! Protect Bobby at all costs! <gasps> Shit! He's... He's covering her! Oh! They got help? The Rosie! They took the rail gun out so they were able to come in to help them! Oh, oh my god! The heart is racing! They're both alive. Amos and Bobby are both alive. Clarissa's alive. Naomi's alive. Holden's alive. How the fuck did they all survive that? Holy shit. This episode. I didn't put enough deodorant on for this. The greatest gift any true builder could wish for was to die fighting for the cause. For the cause or for you? <laughs> Ooh! Called out. That's what I've been saying. It's not the cause. It's for him. He's the big head honcho. Without him, it's nothing. There is no cause. We have reached the end. He hasn't a final of Marco hole. speech of the series. Oh, he loves a good chant. Finally, I think Philip is finally just like realized the shit he's gotten himself into. Yeah, shit. Is he gonna kill his dad? Is Philip gonna be willing to kill Marco in the end? I would be fine with that. It still wouldn't make me like Philip, but I would appreciate it. Appreciate him a little bit more. <gasps> she sees it. She sees one. It's happening again. We might be able to trigger the ring entities. Oh. Trigger them to come and help. Pedo and Railgun Slug, and we time it all just right. We should be able to wake the entities up. But then you're wasting all your weapons. If we wake them up, they might stay awake. They may. This could put an end to Marco once. It could though, yeah. And for all. Make the whole ring go red, and then Marco goes into it, vanishes forever. That could work if you timed it perfectly right, and it actually worked. But it could not work too, and then you just wasted all your weapons. Holy shit, I'm freaking out. No, right there. It's already happening. Not like we have to wait an episode or two, it's happening now. Hey, wait, it's turning a little red. Holy shit, and they can't stop. Oh shit. You just got played. Yeah, she's killing her. She, she's the one that pulled it to stop Marcos. It was her plan, and she pressed the button. It's too late. Ooh. Oh shit, these, these things just killed Marco. Holy fuck, whatever these shits are, I love them now. Bye bye Marco. Oh, they use these things against them, but what are they? Are they coming out now? Are they awake? She just had to kill her son. I hated Philip, but I loved Naomi. Oh. oh my god. I want to hug Naomi. And only one for the belt isn't sharing power, is a puppet show. I take great offense to that. You have no Prime right. Prime Minister. <laughs> Who said you could talk? <laughs> I love her. You need to be reasonable. I will not yeah. be reasonable. You need to be able to. Place. You can't just Belters fight the same thing. You have future. to find a balance, find a good middle spot. We'll take our niche in the future and allow you yours. You have my word. Is that good enough? Will you take? I do trust Drama's your word. Your word enough for me. Yeah. And mine, not enough. Fair point. For you. Both of them. I trust both their words. I think they'll, circles. they'll both tell the truth. And if we can't find a way to trust each other at this point, I doubt we ever will. Yeah. See you now and ever. Just let all the hatred and the fear 
go trust each other. A political with a history of working honorably with Hold is about to get Medina Station and control the ring. Oh, yep, they all look at him. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, he's like, oh fuck. Wait a minute. James. <laughs> you knew this was gonna happen eventually, dude. Again. Yep. Your own faction. Your own Switzerland. To accept this position as the first president of the transport union. The president of the transport union. Before I agreed. Um, he has more to say. Take yep. this job. He's going off book. One of them was that Kamina Drummer would be vice president. Uh, a very yep. wise woman I know. Oh, uh, good for Drummer. As president of the transport union, I resign. <gasps> He's making the drama the, the president. Oh shit! Introduce the That's new a ballsy of move. The transport union, Tamina Drummer. <gasps> Mic drop. Oh, oh shit! He he knew what he had to do, and he did it. One at a time, please. One at a time. <laughs> you you just it he just played her. I was gonna say, Holden being a president, I didn't feel it. He belongs on the roasty, flying around. Don't worry, I'll be gentle. I promise. Bobby's the new flight. She's flying. I wonder what this button does. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea, Kat. <laughs> Forgot it was rough enough with you at the stick. <laughs> You're just messing with us. I hope. <laughs> hey, I made something for you. Clarissa! Oh, I love that. Kiss her. Kiss her. And she has her own matching. Oh, they got matching little pins. It's more important to try to help people and to know that you did. Did he leave? Did he... Was was he off the ship when I went through? Because we didn't see him actually, like, poof. Did he take a shuttle off? <gasps> he did. Philip's still alive. Holy shit. Oh, God. Courage. Nagata. He took his mom's name. Okay, still hate him, but still, it's cute. It doesn't matter if you ever know. You can change it. You have to try. Yeah, yeah, now it's time to try and change be a better person. You are very wise. She has no idea he's alive. I've lived a hard life. Yeah, you have. And we still don't know what happened to that protomolecule sample sooner or later. We're gonna have to That's nice. true. It's on that one planet, right? There's a lot of questions that still need to be answered. And that's the end of the expanse. Okay. That is it. Wow. That was a good series finale. The the action in it, holy shit, I'm still sweating through my clothes. I can't believe I'm wearing a blanket and had a freaking pillow and a sweater on. <sighs> that was, that, that was, wow. Wow. It was so good, though. So freaking good. Honestly, why, why couldn't there be a season? There could easily be a season seven right now. Um, I know there's supposed to be like a time jump between like books or something, and so they're hoping to come back when the actor's all older, but put some fake makeup on them. Other shows do it. And there's still so many questions about, as Holden said, the protomolecule, the species, alien species, the, the, the planet where the dog things and the aliens and 
Oh. oh my god. But it's just so good. I got teary eyed twice. Those two times I got teary eyed. Once was just a minor one when the one woman died um, on the Pella. She was nice. She was good. She was the only person I liked in the Free Navy. So I got a little sad for her. Because she she was she was good at what she did. She if she was on the other side, she would be amazing. And then well, there was also the moment on um, that Bobby and Amos almost died, so that got me a little teary eyed. But really, when Naomi, th- well, now that we know Na- Philip's not dead, but when she thought she killed Philip, that's when Philip died. It was like. That was sad to see Naomi just burst out crying. I don't like seeing Naomi hood. And she's been hood a lot. She's gone through shit. <sighs> I love though that Kamina drummer is in charge of the Belters and she's in charge of the Medina station and the rings. That's a lot of power for the Belters to have and someone in a Belter to be in charge of. Like, that's amazing. And the way she got it from Holden taking the position to quit right when he got it and give it to her, that was amazing. I know Chris Jen was a little pissed, but she'll move on. I'm sure her and Drummer will make have a good partnership. They'll work w- well together over time. They just have to have trust with each other. A lot of it is about them all getting better. War is over now. It doesn't mean everything's going to be perfect, sadly. They're all still going to be bad people. They're going to be people that supported on Marco that are going to come out of the woodworks and try to continue the Free Navy. It's going to happen. But as long as they can stick together, the inners, the belters, if they can just continue to work together, it could be, it could work well. Yeah. It was a beautiful ending. The first half with all the action was like chef's kiss. Mwah. It was absolute best sci-fi ship action I have seen ever. And then the second half is all is this sad goodbye, wrap it up. The fact that they were able to wrap up everything in six episodes itself and wrap up the last bit of it here in one hour... I applaud them. The writers, the actors, directors, producers, Amazon, everything was just so well done. And to see the Rosie in the end, it's a little different than when we first saw them in season one, but you've got Bobby flying the ship now, taking over for Alex, Naomi and Holden together. Then you got Clarissa, who survived and has made her way on this ship and becoming a real crewmate that people, everyone else respects, and she's part of the family now. And her and Amos have this weird bond who that may or may not be their in the relationship because he still goes to places and has sex with other people, but they're still kind of together. It's weird, but it fits them. <laughs> it's great. And I loved in this final season, we got to see a lot of people from past seasons. We got to see Dr. V. We got to see Okoye on Prax. They all made little, just like video appearances because of COVID probably. It's a little easier that way. But they they appeared. They Because they, they had a mark on this show. All three of those were big characters who did something on here and helped them out at certain points. And I like that they got their final send-off, their final like appearance to like remember we were part of this epic show. <sighs> I'm truly going to miss this show so much. I I can't even fully put it into words. And I'm going to miss all you guys on YouTube and Patreon discussing the show with me and telling me all this stuff about the science of it all. I've learned so much from this show, so much from you guys commenting about the actual science and things behind what they're doing and all those little tiny easter eggs or little tidbits of things they put in the backgrounds of every scene that all connect and how everything is just built this whole world building of this world is just so well built and detailed and i wouldn't have been able to get it through season one or any of the show really without you guys commenting and helping me out and giving me things i need to know to understand what was going on i would have been damn ass confused after episode two 
And I don't know if I was just watching this on my own. I probably would have given up after a few episodes. But I'm happy to have gone through it and that you guys watched this show and the pilot especially so much and so well that it forced me to continue reacting to it. Because if I didn't continue reacting to it, I would have regretted it. Because this show is amazing. I really hope in 10, 20, 30, 40, whatever years it is, I come back and there's a season 7. And I will continue watching this with the same enthusiasm I've watched these past 6 seasons. I will share every moment of it, and I will look forward to seeing you guys again when Season 7 appears. Because I'm just saying it now. It's coming. It's going to happen. Whether or not they will say it, or if it's 10 years, 5 years, whatever, it's got to come back eventually. It's, it's It has to. I believe it will. So it's going to. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching this last episode with me for enjoying this amazing show with me and helping me out through the way, holding my hand, telling me when I'm stupid and not saying things right, because there were plenty of times that happened. <laughs> Thank you for sharing your love of all the characters and your love of this show with me. I appreciate it so much. I can't wait to be back here in Season 7 with you guys someday. Okay? Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I'll see you here, Season 7 premiere. Bye.